Good morning, everyone. Um, Jackie Broman here doing my Monday morning Facebook Live for you. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about life insurance, primarily because it is important as part of the estate planning process that we think about any life insurance that you have, um, but also it's important from um, once you've passed away. It's, from, it's important from an estate perspective as well. So a couple of issues that I've come across in the last couple of years with insurances. So firstly, unfortunately I had a situation where someone passed away quite suddenly from a heart attack in his 50s. He and his partner thought that they had life insurance um, they didn't, they had accident insurance. So they were sold something that they, um, they believed they had something else. So I don't know who sold that to them or whether they picked that up online through one of these real life insurance policies or something like that. But unfortunately, because he passed away from a heart attack and not in an accident, there was no insurance paid. So that was a really sad situation. Other situations I've had are insurance companies trying to get out of paying the life insurance because they say that there has been a pre-existing condition. So the person doesn't necessarily die directly from that pre-existing condition, but they say that there's a connection and so then you end up having a fight with the insurer and it takes you know quite a long time, um, over 12 months to get anything out of them and usually not the full amount if anything. So. Um, I find that insurance that is in the superannuation is more likely to be paid. Um, if you get a life insurance policy, it is great if you can get a policy that you can actually name the beneficiary on, because um, that gives you some more flexibility about who gets that life insurance. Usually, if there you can't name a beneficiary, the insurance will be paid into the estate and then go under the will. Um, then, like I said, make sure that you actually have life insurance and it's not accident insurance or some other strange kind of policy that won't pay out in certain, certain circumstances. You really want something that's broad because what you're really going to want to do is sit down and work out, okay, how much debt have I got because it would be great if you could have an insurance policy that can pay out your debt if you pass away so that your spouse um, or whomever ends up with your property ends up with that stuff debt free. Okay, so that, I mean, great if there could be a windfall as well, um, but to be honest, um, use life insurance for that reason because it can be an expensive product. So those are the key things. Make sure that um, it is actually a life insurance policy that will pay out in certain circumstances um, and isn't limited. If you have pre-existing conditions, make sure the insurer knows about them. Um, but then reassess really whether it's worthwhile having the life insurance. Look, particularly real life insurance that does all the advertising on TV, they're really, really trying to get out of whatever policies they have. They don't want to pay. So it's quite expensive to have one of those if they're not going to end up paying at the end. Um, and then, like I said, make sure that the insurance is enough in the end to pay out debt, okay? I think that that's the best way of thinking about it um, because, like I said, it can be an expensive product, particularly if it's not in your super fund. Now, going back to the pre-existing conditions, um, an example is um, I had a lady who passed away. Um, her pre-existing condition was hepatitis. Um, she'd had it for years, you know, most of her life, and she ended up dying of a form of liver cancer. Um, now, the insurance company said that there was a link between the hepatitis and the liver cancer. Um, yes, there's a link, but, but it's not causal, right? 
but it was enough for them to try and get out of pain. So we had a huge dragged out process, had to go to the ombudsman, we settled it, we didn't get the full amount paid. Um, so there was obviously a whole lot of money paid on a policy thinking that they would get life insurance and they didn't. So again, not an ideal situation. So I suppose moral of the story is to be a little bit wary but smart about any life insurance that you get. Um, I wouldn't buy it online or over the phone, um, use it, a broker or do it through your insurer, uh, sorry, your um, financial planner or through your super. So that's life insurance. Um, my quick tips on that. I'll see you again in Facebook. Um, next Monday is actually a public holiday, so I won't be here on the 11th. Um, I'm doing a free Facebook Live information session on um, estate planning for people who have disabled children on the 15th. So that's Friday the 15th at 11 o'clock. Um, so I won't actually be back doing um, a Facebook Live until the end of March. So. Um, we will put all that information in Facebook though when I'm back doing the lives regularly. Otherwise, um, please do come along on the 15th at 11 o'clock for that longer information session um, and I'll see you